right, okay. Uh, we're here at Sailing Company, and I'm Alan Tech Support. And the reason we're here today is because we're going to introduce to you a uh, clever scope, mixed signal oscilloscope, which has a lot of different features in it, many things to learn about. But the one thing we're going to center on today is its protocol analysis. Ability. Okay, so we're here with a block diagram of our test system. The test system consists of a couple of PCs. One is the local system, and the other one's over here, the remote system. And in between, we decided to install an RF link using some other products that we sell. And in addition to that, in relation to the RF link, we're going to use an, a handheld spectrum analyzer to monitor the performance or the levels of the RF that we're transmitting back and forth. So here's what we have. We've got a PC running dock light, and it's going to send RS-232 data streams to our transceiver the, in the local area. In the remote area, the other transceiver is going to receive that data and loop it back, send it back to dock light, which will show us both the transmitted and received data. In the middle of this, we have a TTI spectrum analyzer that we'll be able to see the levels with. Now, the main thing that we're trying to do here is, is monitor the data information at, with using our CleverScope MSO. And we're going to look at logic data plus two channels of analog data so that we can actually see the levels of the data, the RS-232 coming through and we're also going to monitor the CTS line. And it's going to all be shown on an application in the remote PC with the protocol analysis on the top and the analog signals on the bottom. Okay, we're here with the local system. And this consists of my PC running dock light, this application here on the screen. And we're sending out a message called Happy Holidays. It's actually two squirts of data, one for happy and the other for holidays. And what we're using to, to make the RF link is an LPRS easy radio system. And we're using 914 megahertz TRS modules, which means they're transceivers. And we're also equipping these radio modules with some antennas from another English company, EAD, and we're using uh, a particular kind of antenna that's suited for this frequency, and so it's a very short wavelength here. So what we're doing is we can see here that the data is going out, that's the data that's in blue, and that's the TX out, and then the received back that's been looped back from the other uh, remote area is coming back here and being shown in the red right there. So that's what's, that's what's going on here in the local area. So I can see that my link is actually working pretty well here. Okay, we're here in an office in between the local and the remote units, and I have here in my hand, obviously, a handheld spectrum analyzer from TTI, an English company, and they make a uh, spectrum analyzer that goes up to 2.7 gigahertz. We're using a Watson telescopic antenna, and we're seeing that we can find the transmission that is on 914 and a half megahertz from both transceivers going back and forth to each other. And uh, if I stop this, we can then take a, a reading where the cursor is. Um, it's roughly down about minus 45 and a half dBm. That's the level that we've got here. The sensitivity of the LPRS modules is, is about 100 or minus 105 dBm, and the output of the transmitter is plus 10 dBm. So we have a loss budget that's about 120 or 115 rather dBm total or T dB total here. So we're here with the the remote system and that consists of the CleverScope uh, acquisition unit which is an MSO as I mentioned. It's got uh, eight logic lines uh, input over here that are digital and then it's got the two analog over here. So we're just using one line of the digital and we're looking at two analog lines. The one line of the digital is being used for the protocol analysis. And here is the other half of the RF link here, the LPRS uh, 900 TRS uh, Easy Radio module. So we've got the thing, if you look at the screen here, we've got this thing receiving our message, Happy Holidays. I'll explain a little bit about what you're looking at. This is the CleverScope application, which typically consists of a control panel, this, this tall rectangular piece here, and then the analog graticule in the logic area uh, for display. We've only got one logic line going, 
and that's our uh, RX data coming in from the LPRS module. Down here in the blue and the red traces, we've got the actual analog data, which is the RS-232 levels, and we've got CTS window around the, the data as it's coming through. Now the whole reason that we wanted to talk about this was to check and see this protocol analysis feature of CleverScope to see if it really works. There's a setup window right here, and you can see that you can choose UART SPI I squared C uh, as your uh, data transmission mode that you can uh, use to, to analyze the protocol on it. And you just set up what parameters you need here and then tell it about the, the um, framing that you're using here, your baud rate and whether your serial parity is being used, most significant bit first, things like that. Get the thing set up and then we can see right here the UART output and it's actually telling me happy holidays. And so from this little test, we can see that the protocol analysis system works. So our conclusions are is that you can, uh, you can do quite a lot with a CleverScope CS328A MSO unit. Not only is it a good oscilloscope and a logic analyzer, it's a true mixed signal scope, which means you can trigger one, either the logic or the analog from the other parameters. It has dual triggering, and it also is a versatile type of thing where you can add different kinds of capabilities to it, such as a 12-bit or a 14-bit ADC module. It has an Ethernet option, and mostly they're USB connected. And you can actually stack two of these units on top of each other and create a four-channel system with 16 logic lines. So. And also, one of the other things I just wanted to mention that here at Salig, we carry a wide variety of components and instrumentation, a lot of which can be easily used uh, to create small systems uh, and all work together very nicely. Um, yesterday I set this up, it took me about uh, 35, 40 minutes to get this whole thing running. So it wasn't difficult at all. If you have any questions, feel free to call or write me at support at Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.